for me, just maybe for me, to read Bible a lot, it becomes a little bit boring. But I spend a lot of time to read it, but more I try to read Bible in God's manifestation as you saw right now in these t- testimonies, or different, different mani- uh, God's manifestation. And uh, specifically, I love to watch, uh, to see, read, and watch Bible comparing with different religion and debates. I watch, I watch a lot of, a lot of debates, uh, debate. Christian Christianity versus to atheism, and specifically, I love watch debates uh, Christianity versus to Islam. Christianity Christianity has a lot a lot of critics, and these critics are so um, how you can say so crafty. Crafty, and they 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 put to test Christianity is in such a in such a questions in areas, and it looks like if you ask such a question, there is no answer, but in re, in reality there is answer. And um, today I want to I want to with your help with my weak English, I want to talk with you. Uh, Object, objectivity of the Bible. Do you know where, when we become older, as, as my mom, she is old lady, but just looks like a young. And, uh, and when, when we come to the end of our, uh, our, of our days, what most important for us, for my, for my mom, she no more interested in, in, in building, in cars, in, um, in many, many, many things we we just pursuing in our life. For her, it's not important right now. What important for her? For she, she concentrated more today on her, on her future. Life behind, behind, behind life. Life, life after life. And for her, so important Bible. Who can explain her future? Give, give guarantee. Uh, insure her. Where, where she can find insurance for her, for her future. And... Uh, if Bible become, becomes more important in the end of the life, maybe she, maybe its Bible has something good, important for us in the beginning. Does Bible covers our life, all areas, everything? Does Bible has answer? For our life, I grew up in in country when believing in God was totally forbidden, and that's my that's where my problem was, because from very, very young age I was interesting where all things started and when where all things going going on. I I was interested. On the beginning and in the end, and uh, uh, I was taught in my school in my country, all colleges taught there is no God, and uh, some kind of evolution theories and uh, uh, explosion, explosion, millions and billions. He, years before, and I knew that was specifically taught us to lead us so far in the past 
millions and billions years to fool us. That's I understood cl understood clearly. Just uh, bring us to delusion. Because doesn't matter. Is it is it million years ago in the past or billions? Questions question still exi exist same. What was before that explosion? And there is still no answer. If you take just that that's, uh, uh, that event was yesterday or billions years ago, questions remain remains the same. What was before? And and question can be answered logically in this way. For every beginning, there is beginner. If start, it's, it's possible to stop that question if from the beginning there is no beginning. Somebody, something who don't have beginning, internal. And uh, that's what uh, theory, theory, uh, theory. theory of evolution don't have answer. They always have has something what was before. And that's that we don't have the end of such a question. And nobody knows who, what was millions years before. Darwin, nobody. He is stupid man. He don't know nothing what was millions years uh, in the past. And for us as a people in Russia, in Soviet Union, it was forbidden uh, question. You cannot ask su such a question. And uh, when today, having Bible, we have to value it. That precious book which have answer and objecti objectivity of the Bible. Bible covers, gives answer for all our questions. First one I want to show to you that who is God? It's for us, we more in peace if we, if we know in in the beginning, God, not something without any sense of reason. For us, we more in peace to understand that reason always greater as consequences, because reason gave birth to consequences. It's logically. And we more in peace when we know that something, something greatest in the universe gave birth to temporary physical things, creation. And Bible explained for us in the beginning God. And who is God? Bible, Bible explained for us that God is creator, God is love, God, God is full of compassion, of mercy. Love, compassion, and mercy can be practiced not in singleness, but in plural. We cannot, we cannot love, we cannot express the love, practice love, if that's just single. That's why Bible show for us that God is uh, three in person. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This is just revelation. We cannot comprehend who is God indeed. Because if, if God can be comprehensive for creation, he cannot be God. Even today, we have a lot of creations, millions of creatures, 
and it's logically that's end and cannot understand human even we have common as we are creation but so big difference between between two of us and and cannot understand me and even i cannot understand and but we both our creation how big difference and space between creation and creator and praise god creator of universe who gave for us that small portion of revelation about himself himself that he is god of love god of mercy compassion he is great he in in bible in scripture he reveals himself as a god of father son and the holy spirit and that's enough for us we accept us we accept it not by the by the study on full understanding but we accept it by belief this is revelation and we accept it and that's it for us important that's revelation in practical life confirm itself or not if it confirm if we can feel it see it we can see his manifestation revelation in bible concerning god is true and we accept it and we are satisfied praise jesus Amen. hallelujah bible is a re reliable Brother and sister, all of you, I want to encourage all of you. We are living today in such a world full of information, many the theories, many ideas, um, many teachings. It's so important for us to spend our time to study Bible, around Bible, because Bible contains in itself, in herself, not only good things for our end of life but for a very beginning from our childhood our young age and every um, every every time of our life what we what we going through next question next next point Bible for us clearly, shortly, give, give the answer. Where did the universe come from? Do you know, when we live, even from, from childhood, we want to know. We want to see full picture. We don't want, we don't want to be concentrated and be smart on some sub subjectivity. And miss whole picture. Bible clearly said for us: God create universe. That's the answer. Answer. It's enough for us to trust creator or idea of evolution, where where evolution uh, leave the people behind the billions years in past and and without without answer with the same question we we clearly can can rest uh, we 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 fully can rest on uh, god on the bible answer that god create heaven and earth by his spoken word next next point where did the humans comes from it's really um, important question. Same answer. God created. Next, next question. Next point. Why, why are the humans so unique, different from all creatures? Internal. God created Adam and Eve in His image. And likeness why so men and 
uh, human so different from, from animals? Why so important? Because, because God created Adam and Eve in his image and likeness and a breeze, breeze? Uh, breath, breath, uh, spirit of life. Why men so important? Because we are, we are internal life. We cannot, we cannot stop our existence. So important. Do you know? Bible answers to our question, and we have to clean. Uh, glue ourselves, clean ourselves to the teaching of Bible. Read it. In Bible, we can find many different passages, prof prophecies, through the ages. Many people believe Bible before internet and TV and radio waves were was this discovered but bible prophesied it has prophecy concerning such a things where two witnesses in jerusalem in future will be killed in during in during of time of tribulation and whole world in one time can see these two prophets who will lay being killed in jerusalem and such a prophecy was in, uh, unbelievable during the many centuries because it was totally impossible to see one spot of the of the world earth for whole world in one time it was absolutely impossible but christians just read it and believed in it as a revelation from god and Christianity um, despise few, few, uh, maybe maybe not just few, uh, many uh, many places in Bible which were during the century centuries was wasn't understandable, but people still believe in just in our time it became possible. To see one spot on earth in one time for whole earth. But it was predictable. This was predicted even, even before the uh, birth of Jesus Christ. Bible is reliable. Can, can you put the next point? Bible is reliable important because in Bible God has his will for his people that's amazing God has his will he has best for our personal life in Bible when we read Bible when we study we can organize best for our life in our life in our life i we spoke um, not long ago with uh, our leaders and i encouraged them to preach on the subject of prosperity because prosperity this is the will of god and we like and we like when people prosper because god himself wa wants that people prosper in life uh, in ministry, Dr. Yon Gicho, when he started his ministry, it's a uh, country, country was ruined after war and great poverty. But, but Pastor Yon Gicho started to preach the will of the Father concerning humanity. And his will that his people prosper. And after a few decades in his church, 50,000 millionaires raised in country 
were just few decades ago. They, that was poorest country in the world, a world. And even bicycle, chair, and, and table, it was difficult for people who lived there and, and, and food. But because will of the Father, will of the God, creator of universe, of humanity, written in the Bible by the pastor, by the preacher, was preached today just in one church. Today that church more like a million members. But in that church, 50,000 millionaires, if people has mo have money, they can bless anybody and live themselves prosperous life. That's the Bible teach about. Looks like Bible claim, has claim on us. Bible require, requires us with, with, it, with her goodness, kindness. Next point. Bible also uh, reveals and, and explains the fall of human race and consequences about sin. Not much today in the world we can find such an explanation, but that the real explanation. What is, who is devil? What is sin? Conse consequences of sin. Objectivity of Bible. I want to encourage all of you, brother and sister, most of you are young over here, don't spend your time with uh, any kind. A lot of time, we, they will try to steal our time today. F Facebook, uh, any kind of films, and many, many, many things. Just check on your time. How many, how many places, many uh, ideas where your time is stolen. Spend your time. To know more Bible. Uh, my, my enjoyment when I, I didn't have time to go to school, to college, to study Bible specifically. But I found today on the YouTube debates between Muslim and Christians. There, there is raised such a skinny questions. And you can enrich yourself and enjoy by rich, richness of Bible. Harmony, wisdom, kindness, mercy of God. You will find such a harmony in Bible. You will see that's the only book on the earth which brings you salvation, joy, peace, and happiness. Prosperity, health, everything. Bible explain about it. Uh, today, today we are, we are li living in time of internet and wisdom of centuries, countries, churches, denominations accumulated together, and that's wisdom which are today are possessed by many pastors and teachers and scholars of the Bible, and they is express the, their wisdom today on YouTube, on internet. Spend your time around good information. What can protect you, defense you, enrich you, give you wisdom, knowledge. Spend your time where you maximum can find knowledge from the Bible. You will be in honor. Don't lose your time. Don't spend your time on uh, subjectivity. Try to comprehend, learn, uh, study, and be, be objective. Uh, uh, that you can see whole picture. Bible. 
give you objectivity. You will be wise. Next, next question. Bible is, is, play, is plain for us after, uh, after the, when human race fall in sin, being tap, tempted devil, uh, God offered the law for humanity. We know the uh, law of Moses, and we, we know consequences of the law. The law described and discovered our weaknesses and that we couldn't turn our, ourselves to, uh, uh, back to God in fellowship. Uh, late, later, Bible show for us redemption through Jesus Christ. Full picture what need for human, for people, is hidden in the Bible. Beginning, whole way, how God revealed himself, how God revealed uh, uh, to the prophets, step by step, and Bible has answer. Say, 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 Bible has answer for all this mess. Bible not just start from somewhere and stopped in the middle and no end. We, we, have, we have answer for all problems. God the Father promised from, from Eden when first sin was committed, God promised redemption through Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ came on earth, he showed himself love of the Father, love of our Creator. He died for us. That's the what 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 more can be waited. What more? Even such a gift, Prophet Isaiah in chapter 53 prophesies about such an event where God will send his son to die for humanity. Uh, when he trying to prophesy about it, 700 something of years before, before uh, suffering of, of Jesus Christ on the cross, when we tried to prophesy about it, and he stopped for a while and said, who can believe in such a news? Such an amazing news, such an amazing fact, such, such an amazing gift for, from creator of universe, God Almighty, who became our father, he gave his son to save us from sins, redemption. That's amazing news. That's not only just idea, but that's the, this is the fact. This is the fact changed changed. Millions and billions of people around the globe through centuries. And that's thriving today. Redemption is real. Redemption is real. Whole objectivity of Bible. Why we have to love Bible, spend time with Bible, try to read in testimony, see confirmation, of, of this of this book because because there is objecti objectivity full picture covers every area of our needs next one uh -huh. Bible uh, Bible unwrapped the uh, foundation of the spiritual world and explains the reasons As you, as you saw in Friday, or on the prayer lines, have demons screaming, confessing what they doing, what they done, did, what they doing, what they plan, planning to do for, in the life of people, there is big question, what's going on? 
it's not just manifestation, but confirmation. If you check the li life, you will see. But in subjectivity, you cannot find in, in the world explanation. Even today is a lot, a lot of, today is a lot of witch, do, witch do, doctors and some kind of spiritual things. Even when Moses came to Egypt and met with Pharaoh, and Pharaoh's witch, uh, witch doctors create such a small things, that was really spiritual manifest, manifestation. But you, that's the just short, uh, short uh, things, and you don't know where it's come from and where it's going to. But when Moses came with his miracles, his full explanation, don't try to do some, some kind of spiritual things which are unexplainable. Try to understand spiritual things which God in Bible explain and give, and give the reason for, for all things. Bible, no. Bible, I believe we miss one, but in the end, Bible clearly teaches about judgment in the end of life. When, when the theory, theory of atheism or evolution leave the people on the end without answer, where that's questioned within heart. I, I lived my life. What will happen in the end? Nobody give you answer. But Bible says, be careful through your life. Be organized. Find the truth. Because in the end of your life, there is eternity. Judgment before the uh, white throne. And there is, after, after judgment, there is eternity. That's biblical end. Biblical explanation of the end of time. Stretch your Stretch your, your, your understanding to live life purposely. To live your life being committed. Uh, objectivity of the Bible. Brothers and sisters, it's so important today. Glue yourself to the Bible. To the teaching of God, enrich yourself. Try every opportunity, your podcast, books, read just Bible, study by self, enrich yourself by the wisdom from the ages. Holy Fathers, uh, Orthodox Church, Catholic Church, priests, many, many different preacher ministries today. So big potential today. Wisdom, explanation of Bible. Uh, can, can, you, can you go for, for, further? Bible clearly show for us happy marriage and where is fighting, where is divorces, where, where is the misunderstanding. Bible covers every area of our life. Praise God for Bible, for, for his world. Uh, Bible clearly show for us teaching about health and sickness, infirmities, where his roots are hidden. Sometimes doctors don't, don't, don't know where his roots but Bible for us shows there is roots. Bible is objective teaching. 
That's why we have to be so hungry. God, I want to spend my time daily to know your word. Because when I know your word, your will, for me much easier to be stray, to be successful, to be blessed, to be protected, to be health, uh, uh, in good health, to be, to, to, to be rich. Because devil, he tried to hide his schemes and make us just subjective. He tried to hide for us full picture and do not reveal to us full, full God's will through Bible to us. Next one. Peace versus conflict. And many, 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 many can, can you make the point? When God... Uh, Next one. Next one. Bible show for us advantage of Christian of cringe, uh, of Christians in the spiritual world through Christ Jesus. Bible equip us and make us sup, sup, superior superior. Bible has equipped us and make us superior in this world, in the spiritual world, and gave and gave for us authority to have dominion. It is good Bible. Who can who can offer for us such a things? Who can care for us and give for us such a knowledge? This is the Bible. We we can clearly see. We can clearly come to the conclusion that that book belongs belong to the good person who cares, who loves, who wants for us best such a knowledge. We have to love this, this book. This is holy book. Try, try, try find every opportunity. Try Find every opportunity. Enrich yourself. Because knowledge is power. And next one. The, the last one. Call, call, calls us to the wage war. In, and, and to live a life of victory. I just, you know, spontaneously uh, put these points together with my weak uh, English and to try express my heart to you brothers and sisters that and start up love in our hearts for this holy book Bible call us for victorious life Bible equip us that we we can be bold and and believe without any fear in our hearts that God who gave for us this world he equipped us with this armor of the spirit and God himself promised in Bible to be with us through our life from the beginning through life covers every sphere area of our life and in the end from this internal world he he will stretch his hand and take us in internal home internal life that's amazing book that's not it is not just idea demons unclean spirits tremble before this book they, they 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 know this book demons they know these books much much uh, 
much better as we know. It's better for us to be better in knowledge of this book as demons because this is the book of our salvation. This is the book of our prosperity, of our, of our um, progress, our blessing, our peace, our joy, uh, our, our peace. This is the book. That's I encourage each of you, brother and sister, with this book, you will make it. You will be blessed. You will be successful. You will be victorious. Clean yourself to this book in, in every possible way which is possible today.